Your story is garbage news, and you're making, you're making an embarrassment of your news station. All right, why are these people so upset with ABC 15 investigator Dave Biscabing? Take a look at this. Why are they having someone follow him in a car, recording his every move? It's because of the three-month investigation you're about to see. So here's Dave to explain. This is all about parking lots, parking lots, and disability access. Under the Americans with Disability Act, businesses need enough spaces, enough space between spaces, proper signs at the proper height, and that little van notice. But miss one, be just an inch off, and there's a new group who will sue and demand thousands to settle. They say it's advocacy. Others call it extortion. You watch and you decide. This is Advocates for Individuals with Disabilities, AID for short. Founded this year, their videos show them handing out things like a special brace, a scooter, and a window AC unit. There's nothing controversial about that. But what is controversial is how they make money. It's with lawsuits, hundreds and hundreds of them, bringing in millions of dollars. Lawsuits filed by AID along with this man. As disabled people, we don't have a voice. David Ritzen-Thaler is 74, had hip surgery last year. A self-proclaimed minister. Listen to what God had to say. He considers his lawsuits for aid public service. Night. And I said, I love what you're doing. Ritzen-Thaler's filed 530 lawsuits this year. Restaurants, banks, offices. This minister even sued this strip club. He's a committed individual. Peter Stroynick is attorney for both David Ritzen-Thaler and aid. David Ritzen-Thaler gone to all 500 of those businesses? No. But he's, he's the plaintiff. Yes. And the question is? So he doesn't have to go for you to sue the business? Absolutely correct. Really? Yeah. Critics call them drive-by lawsuits because aid staff crews parking lots looking for violations. This auto parts store got sued. Why? I didn't have a van accessible sign. For that, owner Bob Curtis says aid wanted 5000 to settle. Yeah, $50 sign for 5000 bucks. To me, it's extortion. Is that really an accessibility issue that requires a lawsuit? Oh, yes. To aid, any violation is discrimination, and they plan to file 100,000 of these lawsuits across the country. The purpose is to do something incredibly good. We are trying to affect a change. We don't want more lawsuits. But Phil Pangrazio says they're hurting, not helping. So does John Moore. Harms all of our efforts. And Larry Wanger. And abusing the laws. These well-known advocates run three prominent Arizona disability organizations. High frequency lawsuit filing is giving the ADA a bad name. They really are distancing themselves from you guys. They don't want anything to do with you. What do you think that says? Well, that says that we are probably going to be the most effective advocacy group of any advocacy group that had ever been established. And that seems ironic. So this is where they do business. Because at the parking lots for two buildings where aid operates, we found low signs. 41. Spaces with no signs. Two spots coming up. Around this entire building, not a single van notice, including the spot. They're missing the sign. Right in front of aid's door. There we also found faded paint and a ramp overrunning and blocking the access lane. I'll have to check on that. That's not good. A big violation, says ADA compliance one, expert two, Peter Fisher. Or are they in compliance, yes or no? No. Even close? No. And when we went inside to ask Aid about the parking lots, out came their spokesperson, Jennifer Rogers, and Alex Callen, a legal assistant. You check both this location and your other location where you guys have the check sent, and they're not, neither one of them are in compliance with the ADA. I don't know if you guys knew that. Uh, I don't know if you know that, but this is not a building of public accommodation. That's why Aid says this building doesn't have to comply. But our expert disagrees, and Aid must be worried about us checking. 58, that's right. Because they sent out this employee to film us and walk with us until she broke her shoe, ended up barefoot. She then got in a car and started filming while driving at points swerving close to us. We don't want you to hit us, so we're going to go in this spot area, so I don't know what you need to do to work around us. We just don't. Okay, thank you. We just worry about people using their phones and driving a little bit, so. And all this really comes down to one thing. You're going to sue other businesses for not having these access issues. You brought people to this building who have disabilities. You don't think that maybe that uh, you should hold yourselves to the same standards as the places you guys are suing? Would you guys like to leave? And when we left, they left us with this That's final thought. Your story is garbage news. And you're making, you're making an embarrassment of your new station. Thank you. Aid claims they've asked their landlord to fix those issues, but hasn't sued them. And if you think what we found in their parking lot raises more questions about their organization, you're right. And we found not all of their answers add up. Our investigation continues tomorrow night at 6.
All right, so as you saw, advocacy groups with deep roots in our community disagree with what aid is doing, but that doesn't mean this isn't an important issue. So that's why for businesses, we've got the rules and regulations you need to know to help you be in compliance, serve your community, and avoid a lawsuit. It is all on a special webpage dedicated to this issue, abc15.com slash lawsuits.